Thank you for hanging out with me today, this is KJ4 Ray, and welcome back to Green Hell, where I have been visited by my buddy, the Jaguar. Now, I was down there, and I stabbed him a couple times, and then he ran up here to try and get away, but he got caught in this area, so I killed his butt. Um, the thing that sucks, though, is he attacked me twice in pretty quick succession. Um, he's been very active, and um, I think I want to make a better spear today. So, in order to make a better spear, I'm going to need metal. I have a good amount of metal, but I'd actually like to go out and get more metal. So, what we're going to do is we're going to come down here. And I happen to know there's a couple caves down there. So, we're going to grab our pickaxe and we're going to go on a little adventure. And there we go. That's a stone pickaxe. Does that have a lot of... Yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Before we go, though, we do have to check on our animals. We're going to look at their food and their poop. And I have been looking in here very regularly. Uh, plenty of food in there. Um, plenty, well, a good amount of food in here. I don't know about plenty, but um, it should be enough for me to like go away and come back. And you guys have a good amount of food as well. All right, so that's beautiful. So what we're going to do now is we're going to save the game. Anytime you go anywhere and you're going to do something interesting or important, or, you know, if you just haven't saved in like 15 minutes, save the game. You will thank me. So we have to go um, southwest. Okay, southwest. Which way is southwest? Southwest. All right. Am I good on foods? Yeah. Probably eat something. Eat. Now we should be okay. Uh, might as well drink some stuff and also eat some bananas. Just in case we uh, run into any trouble on the way out there. Come over here and drink some delicious, delicious water. And now we're looking pretty good. All right, southwest. Whoops. <laughs> southwest. Yep, it's this way. Cool. Uh, you know, I was looking at my map, and I'm like, well, I don't really want to go over to this cave because I already did it, and I don't know if the if this stuff is going to be back. Are there any other caves in the area? So I looked up a map online, um, and I did find some more caves over in this direction, which will be awesome. So let's go. Show me the way, lizard. Show me the way. Southwest. Southwest. You know, I could probably just hit the. Oh, here we go. Nope, not a cave. Thought it was a cave. We could probably just hit right here and then just follow the, the the you know cliff wall until we run into the cave, which is right here. Uh, there it is. And the cool thing is, once we come here, we've got it on our map as a location, which is great. And I can already see iron in here. Whenever you go in caves, you got to be careful for the scorpions. I don't think there's any other thing to worry about in the caves, though. So, I'd like to pick up that thing. That's actually obsidian. I think that's even stronger than iron. There we go. Is it actually hitting it? Oh, there we go. Got it. And we got that. Beautiful. If you don't see the if you don't see the little iron thing like light up, then there's no iron in there. Uh, is this a big cave? Oh, there's a scorpion. Yeah. So throwing a spear to scorpion seems a little bit, I don't know, inappropriate. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you know, if you hit a scorpion with a spear, it's not gonna like kill the scorpion. It's gonna demolish a scorpion. Like, it like remove the scorpion from the face of the earth. In every way possible. How's my weight doing? I'm thinking about taking some stone with me as well. I don't really know what I would need it for, though. Nope. No good there. Oh, this is a deep cave. Interesting. I like this cave. Now, I, I'm pretty sure the ores respawn in the caves. I just don't know how long it takes. Oh, what the heck? Oh. Wow, I, I didn't expect this. Ooh, empty can. That's more iron right there. Wow, I did not expect that. I don't remember this cave at all. Doesn't mean I've never been in this cave. It just means that, you know... Well, it means exactly what I said it means. I don't remember. Alright, so that's the other side. See if there's any more iron. What am I walking out of here with? Uh, two pieces of iron, one obsidian, and one empty can. That's not bad. I would have expected more from a cave this big, though. 
Now, where am I? Oh, I'm off the map. This is a part of the map that I don't have. You know, I think at some point I'm going to have to just forget about my animals and just go do some serious exploration because, you know, uh, if I want to keep animals alive, there's like a certain amount of space I can go before I can't go any farther. And it kind of sucks. And the animals are, they're fun, but they're really not useful in any real way. So it's going to make, me, it's going to bother me though that they're named, named after people. Maybe I'll name them back to Tapir and then butcher them. <laughs> that looks like something should be mineable, but it's not. All right, so there's another cave up here that I want to check out. So let's get out of here and let's go to the left. And I sh there should be another cave over in this direction. Take out my spear. Yeah, I definitely want to make the metal spear. You know, I really like the spear against a jaguar better than any other weapon. Some other weapons might do more damage, but the spear is so fast. I'll bet its DPS is actually higher. Um, with the spear, you won't get um, interrupted with the jaguar attacks. And sometimes you can stun lock the Jaguar. So, but I think a metal spear would be definitely the way to go. Oh, here we go. Get out of here, you stupid snake. Did this one... Hmm. I didn't see this get... I wonder if this is me coming out of the cave. I think I came in the cave over here. And came out over here. The only difference is I don't know where that snake came from. I'm pretty sure this is the same exact cave. Interesting. That's a bit of a bummer, honestly. But, yep, same exact cave. Darn it! Alright. It is what it is. Those are all the caves in the in this immediate area. I'm just going to head back home. We did get a decent amount of iron, though. Oh, what is this? What is this? Okay. Okay. I am going to go tangle with that guy. But I don't want to have to roll. If you die in this game, there's no going to get your bag. You are reloading. And I really and the last time I saved was before I went out to get the iron. So I'm going to save before I tangle with this guy. But he's got to go. You got to go, bro. All right, where are you? I see him. Yeah, that's what you get. Get out of here. Oh, you want to dance? Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm going to take that spear from you. Now, I got armor, bro. Where's your armor? You don't got snow armor. I, I'm going to want to take this guy's skin. So let me go ahead and harvest them. I harvested them up throughout the human meat, took the bones. And I'm going to throw the bones. And I gotta make some more of these chests. Like, pretty soon. Like, maybe even today. Oh, there's too many bones. Yeah, see, I got too many freaking bones. Well, not really too many bones. I just don't have enough chests. I don't think that's gonna. Nope, that's not gonna go anywhere. Can I fit any bones in this chest? Uh, maybe. Uh, maybe not. Nope. Alright, these bones will not fit anywhere. Not really where I want to put more chests. I'm not really, I'm not really, I'm not really where I want to put more chests. What is wrong with me? I'm not really sure where I want to put more chests. So I'm just going to toss these bones on the ground and hope they don't disappear. Not really worry about it. This is what I was doing when I was so rudely interrupted, by the way. I was, um, uh, what I usually do is I put enough in here for about half right there. And then I start cooking stuff. And um, you don't have to, you don't have to fill this up. I think half. Is probably just about perfect. So we're gonna go ahead and light this candle. Oh, I don't have any more uh, tinder on me. There we go. Got some tinder right next to me. Let's um, let's get this out of the way. Get this over here. So what I'm doing right now is I'm cooking up more iron. And when I come back in the morning, we will be putting that iron to good use. Now I don't know if I need a better spear than this. This thing has metal on it, apparently. So I'm not sure if this spear is going to be better than a metal spear or not, but I'm going to make a metal spear anyway, because uh, I want to. <laughs> and that's it. Well, I've got these things all set up to go. You know what? We're just going to go ahead and make these now. I actually have a decent amount of mud right here. Uh, I forgot I was making those when I brought this mud up here, but that's okay. 
Which, actually, I think we're going to need six. Actually, can you stop saying actually? That would be great. There's going to be a nice amount of storage for me. So let's go ahead and drop that. I love the way that stuff floats. It's so funny. Drop that. Put that in there. Put that in there. We are going to need to break up some, some stuff. Uh, we're going to have to throw this on the ground as well. Beautiful. And you know what I think we're going to do is we're going to break some of these up. We're going to need the boards anyway. So might as well do it now. Like that and like that. And then, yeah, take that, take that, take that, and then I'm just going to harvest these into sticks. We'll harvest three of these. That will be enough for all the sticks. Uh, we're still going to need some more boards, though, but that's okay. Not a big deal. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to harvest all of these. Oh, also, really quickly, guys, um, I just want to, like bring you guys up to speed. These animals, um, I love raising them. It's a really cool thing to raise them, but they don't do anything practical for me. And I know I keep going back and forth on this. I've raised them. It's cool. I think I'm done. Um, I have renamed them because I don't like the, the idea of like Boxer Mom or Mr. Boxer Mom, you know, being left to die. So I named this one High Maintenance. Uh, and then I named this one Pointless. So I'm, gonna, I'm done with these guys. Honestly, it's not the poop that's bothering me. It's having to feed them. You gotta come over here and feed them all the time, and it's just, you know, it's just not worth it. And honestly, at the end of the day, I'm gonna want to start exploring, like, really exploring. And I'm not gonna be able to do that with these guys. So, especially, you know, if it's the dry season, you definitely can't. So, I just wanted to bring that out so when I come back one day and they're not here, I'm not gonna, like, kill them or eat, their, eat any of their flesh because it just doesn't feel right. Uh, I'm just gonna let them die of, I, I guess, negligence. <laughs> Oh, man, it's going to make me cough. That's <laughs> a negligence. Oh, I'm not really sure why that came off so funny to me, but I had to pause the video and cough like this. Yeah, you know, I'm just going to leave it up to... I don't know why. That just made me laugh. I've got a weird sense of humor, I guess. Come on, man. Damn, bro. Really? Are you freaking kidding? Are you trolling me now? Okay, that's... This is... This is getting ridiculous. Come on. All right, you know what? I probably just have to move it. Oh my goodness. Sometimes I just feel like these games are trolling me, you know? And one, and dos, and three. Cool. All right, I will uh, do some inventory management later. Let's go ahead and put these sticks away. Wow. I got a lot of long sticks, man. I might have to start breaking those up. So what is next on the old agenda? Okay, I think I know what we got next. What we got going on here. We're going to be coming down here, and we're going to be doing some pottery. Oh, darn it. Oh, I didn't bring any ash. <laughs> Son of a biscuits. Just in case you're wondering why I, need, why I need ash for down here, it's because I need to harvest these to be able to make molds. So that's... That's what we got going on here. Pick that up, and I got a blade mold, an axe mold. I think what we're going to need is the blade mold. And we're going to put some metal in here. And I think that's already got water, so hold down E. Do I have room for the blade mold? Hold on. Yeah, we got room. All right, make it a blade mold. Yes, that's what I needed. Okay. And that should allow me to make myself an iron spear, which will be great. Like I said, the biggest problem I have in this game, as far as, like, threats, is 100% the jaguar. And this iron spear is the best way for me to, you know, defend myself. I've already got armor. I guess I can make some metal armor. Um, the problem is, when you make metal, when you make metal items, uh, because I'm making metal stuff, I have to make more metal stuff, or it has, like, very low durability. Right? And the spear isn't, like, I don't think I'm going to be using the spear enough where it's, I'm going to have to really worry about the durability. A few, a few stabs to the jaguar's head should be, you know, sufficient. Um, but things like blades, like, especially axe blades when I'm chopping down a tree, like, that's just, you know, it's a lot. Uh, is this going to be done pretty quick? I think that'll be done. I think that's probably enough. 
Oh, I have an empty mold with me. Let's go bring this back down there and leave it there. Yeah, like, what, if I'm chopping trees, that axe is going to break really quickly, as it did. Um, stabbing a jaguar in the head, I don't think I'm going to be, like, stabbing a jaguar head enough where it's going to break, like, that quickly. So that that's the whole idea there. Um, I think, like, all your craft... I thought all your crafting skills were all together, right? I mean, if you look at the notebook right here, and you look at crafting skills, right? Let's talk about axes. Okay, so... Increases damage, reduces stamina usage. That's not the crafting of the axis. That's using the axis. And it increases damage, reduces stamina loss. It has nothing to do with the durability of the tool. And if you look at crafting, increases item durability. So there's crafting. I don't see any metal crafting. Is metal crafting a different thing? So we got blowgun, spear fishing, pottery, fishing, Harvest animals, archery, throwing, fire starting, cooking, crafting, two-handed weapons, blades. Guys, I think that all crafting is the same. I think if you make a stone axe, it's crafting. And I think if you make a metal axe, it's crafting. So I could theoretically, because some people are saying, well, it was the first time you made the metal axe. That's why it's no good. I don't think that's the case. I really don't think that's the case. I think if I, I think if I craft stuff that's easy to build up the crafting skill and then make the metal axe, I think it'll be much better if I care enough, which I don't think I do. But <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Like people are saying, well, that was the first metal axe. I was like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I might be missing something. Maybe when I'm editing later, I'll look at it and be like, no, Cage, this is how it works. And, you know, but I, I don't know. I think I'm right. I don't, I don't think it matters that it was the first metal axe I made. I think all crafting is crafting and that that's, What's going to determine... You can make 50 stone axes and the durability on your first metal axe will be higher than it would have been normally because you got the crafting skill up making stone axes. All that hard-hitting science I just went over like made me tired. So I gotta get some mushroom soup here. There we go. Drink, and we'll just drink one more. There we go. Looking good. Uh, yep, that's the one that goes in there. All right, we're going to make some... Also, also we're going to start making some metal armor today. And it's weird. I had to look it up because metal armor is not made the same way. Basically, in order to make metal armor, you need to do an empty mold, metal ore, and a stick. It seems a little weird, but, you know, that's all right. No big deal. No big deal at all. So now we got three armor molds. All right, we just need to cook those up. There we go. I love the circular, like, little thing here and how these fit in there so well. I don't know why. It just makes me happy. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to have to light this candle again. I don't know why I keep saying candle. I guess that's my thing for today. <laughs> that's Cage's thing for the day. Light this candle. All right. There we go. And we just need to cook that stuff. So this right here. Harvest. And I should get a blade. Yep, yeah, right there. Metal cast blade. And then we get a long stick. I think we've already got some rope. Nope, no rope. It's okay. I got some rope right here. And let's grab the long stick. And Oh, we don't need room for this, do we? Okay, hold on. We need some room for this. I think this spear I have right now is pretty dope, but I'm going to... Put oh, I did have room for it. I'm going to put it on the shelf for the, for the one I'm going to make. I, you know, they they could give these, like, like all these items. Uh, you know what they should do? They should put, like, stats on all these items so I know what I'm doing. Because right now I'm just kind of guessing and looking stuff up. Metal spear. All right. We now have a metal spear. So when the jaguar attacks, um, you know, I don't know if it's going to be as good as the tribal spear, but it's definitely got to be better than the spears I've been using. I right, just need to wait for this stuff to cook up. And then we can make some iron armor. I've got one more armor mold thing being made. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the ones that were already made. And I'm going to harvest them. And I'm going to get the armor pieces out of it. See right there. Metal armor cast. And I'm going to harvest another one. There we go. I think it takes three to make one piece of armor. Which is kind of messed up. <laughs> what are you going to do? You know? All right, so in order to make armor, what do I need? I need that, that, I need rope. I got rope. Yeah, I should be able to make some armor here. Take one of these. 
drop it down, craft one, two, three, and two rope. There we go, metal armor. Hell yeah, bro. Let's see how much uh, durability it has. Okay, 43. Okay. Very good. Very good. So my, I'm going to take a look at my armor making skill. Because the other armor I make has higher... Like, there's only one armor making skill that I'm aware of. Fists, axes, blades, spears. Two-handed fire starting crafting, cooking. I think that made my crafting skill go up. I think armor making is crafting. Yeah, I'm pretty sure armor making is crafting that I think about it. I'd have to look to make sure, but... Um, I don't normally, like, notice when it's like, oh, your armor skill just went up. I don't normally notice that kind of stuff. We're going to make one more piece of armor, though. And we're going to put the armor on our arms. Because it's called armor. So why not? And take one of these. Craft. Casting. 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 Rope and rope. All right, we're at 36. Let's see if we get a skill. We did not get a skill that I could tell. Let's take a look. Yeah, crafting's still 36. I, I might have gotten a skill on the uh, first craft, but I don't know. And where am I putting my armor pieces? I think they're in this one. Oops. In this one? Yeah, there they are. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at what armor we're wearing. All right, so we got 18%, 16%. 33, 67. All right, so it's the arms. I'm probably just going to destroy those two pieces as well. There we go. 43% and 49%. Beautiful. And destroy and destroy. Cool. All right, let me show you what I've been doing with the, uh, with the wonderful, wonderful treehouse over here. Uh, because I have been doing a lot of work off camera. I think we'll spend the rest of the video just kind of putting more resources into this thing and getting it, you know, moved along. I think maybe next episode, I could probably start doing the mud, you know, cooking area. If I could decide where it is. This downstairs part is just a lookout. I won't really build much down there. Maybe some stands or something. Um, up here, there's a, a couple of things I put up there that I didn't want to. I'm going to have to try and take those down at some point. Um, I want to, like, get the middle done and then maybe start putting in some roof pieces, I think. And, uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and... Do what we can with the middle here. And we're just going to use all the resources I've dragged up here. There we go. I actually dragged some rope up here too, man. I'm, uh, yeah. I'm prepared. I am prepared. I really want to get this thing done. Or at least as close to done as possible. Rope and more rope. And we should need some more rope up here. Yep, okay. And we can pick the rope up off the floor. I gotta decide where I want to put the. Hmm. Mm, wait a minute. Maybe I should. I was just thinking this might be a good spot for the, for the cooking station, or maybe this spot. Now nah, I don't think I want the cooking station on the inside. I'm gonna put it on the outside somewhere. Not really sure how or where I'm gonna put it, but it's not gonna be on the inside. It doesn't make sense, but it's so close to the tree. The last thing, It would dry out the tree, and the last thing you need is the tree to catch on fire. Would that ever happen? No, it's not in the game, but I, that's kind of how I look at it. All right, and let's pick up three of these. And put in some more rope. Nope, we got to put a stick on the inside. And now the rope. And that's done. So let's grab three more logs. And put those down. And put that down right there. Cool. All right. So, uh, I guess just regular roofs here at this point. You know? Like, we're going to get no fancy with no roofs or nothing. Uh, I do want a ladder spot, though. Let's just um, put roofs where we can for now. Roof, uh, yeah. Roof, roof. Roof, roof. It's still weird they let me build inside that tree like that. 
All right, so I think what we're going to do is we are going to cancel that, go right here, and we're going to do one of these, but not wood. There we go. And I'm thinking right above. Oh, that's going to be a mother effer. Oh, that's really... Mm. Okay, well, you know what? Let's stop that, and let's go ahead and make a ladder. Uh, right there. Come on. Doesn't look right, does it? Uh, no, it looks okay. It looks okay. Let's go ahead and make that ladder. I'm gonna get up on the roof. I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and delete some of those ghost images. Those ghost images are on the roof. Are not supposed to be there. They were put there by mistake, and it's it's kind of a pain to get rid of them. I'm gonna be perfectly honest. <laughs> So, I would like to use all the rope, though, and then we can grab some more rope before we come up here. Cool. So, once I got up here and deleted everything that wasn't supposed to be here, it was awesome. I could put everything down, which is which is pretty much what I expected to happen. Uh, I'm going to have to do some serious thinking between this and next video on where I would like to put uh, certain... Yeah, you, you'll be alright, tough guy. Um, where I'm going to put certain objects. Like, I, I guess... Like, what am I even going to put up here? I'm going to need a bedroom and a kitchen, right? A bedroom and a kitchen. And then maybe, like, a storage area. <gasps> Might be a good idea. So that's kind of what I'm looking at. And I definitely want some balconies and some cool things like that. And uh, maybe I'll put some stuff on the roof as well. I'm not really planning on doing anything with the roof right now. But that doesn't mean I won't do anything with the roof. Um, I probably will have this cut off. I'm not going to, like, even make that an area. Um, these, these trees right here can be chopped out so that won't be a much of a problem but uh yeah that's kind of what i'm looking at at this point oh one more one two three all our resources are almost depleted which was my goal here and three. Oh, hold on darn it i should have done that oh wait, whatever it's fine we'll get there Oh, I don't even have any spot for any of these. Yeah, I need more long sticks. Okay, fair enough. That is cool. I think we are going to call this one here. If you have enjoyed the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.